So her question is, what do you do in situations when animals are overly affectionate and won't sit still? <laughs> so in our mind, we're like, now the appropriate behavior right now is to just lie at my feet and be totally calm and sleeping. Not every animal is gonna think that that is the appropriate behavior for animal Reiki. So, well, first of all, we want to, we want to acknowledge that whatever the behavior they're giving, it's perfect in this moment. Why? Because they're choosing it. They're deciding. And I'll give you guys an example. Um, one time when I went to Remus, which is a horse sanctuary in England that I've gone to many, many times to teach, they had kittens and they put them all in a horse stall because it was cold out. And they had bedded it with deep straw and they had tons of toys and little cat trees and all kinds of things in there. And so there's all these kittens. So I, I never get to work with kittens. I'm always working with 25 year old cats, <laughs> you know, that have a range of ailments and such. That's just my, that's my jam. So to do kittens, I was like, this is the best. So I went in and I plopped myself down. I sat in the middle of all the straw and Oh my God, there were kittens standing on top of my head. There were kittens launching off of my shoulders. There were kittens that were like jumping like right into my face. <laughs> there were, they were run, running around. There were cl claws out playing. I mean, it was, it was nuts. It was crazy. And I had to laugh because I, I totally forgot that that's what young animals are like. You know, I'm always with the cat who's sleeping in the, in the cat bed. And the only way I notice that they're responding to the Reiki is their breathing gets deeper. But other than that, they were asleep when I began and they were asleep when I left. So that's like my normal, right? So I was like, oh yeah, you know, these, these are young kittens. And so instead of like being like a stone in the middle of that space, you know, I tried to just smile and be in their joy, like be in the present moment with them. And, um, and then it was funny because after about 10 minutes of craziness, they all like fell over and passed out <laughs> and were sleeping. So I know you've seen young, young like puppies and kittens do that. And so it was so great. They eventually did like completely just give in and just be like, yes. Um, but there was quite a bit of hyperactivity that had to happen. Um, so what I would say is have joy with the affection, with the exuberance, um, and just allow them to behave and be how they are. The only thing I would say, if you're working with big dogs, um, you know, they can literally knock you over. So you might think, don't sit on the floor necessarily, sit in a chair, um, or you could even be outside the kennel where they are, the space, depending on if you're in a shelter environment or whatever. If you're with a horse, um, we were once at Remus again, we were in a, um, pasture with a herd of horses and they the reiki that day made them hyper I, they started running around and bucking and rearing up and and they were going completely insane and so we we stepped outside the pasture and stood on the other side of the fence and they also eventually worked through all that craziness and then just went to sleep um, but sometimes that can take some time and sometimes it may not happen in the first session that might be the second session or the third session so, um, so just allowing that time to pass and, you know, instead of seeing it as they're ruining my peaceful space that I'm trying to create, you know, instead just really saying, you know, this is beautiful. This is so fun, you know, and just smiling. It doesn't have to be the perfect way in your mind, you know, you wanted it to be. It is perfect because the animal is being themselves and they're sharing that with you.